Democratic leaders tell us the president plans to talk health care while he's in Green Bay. Sarah Thompson joins us with more on one woman's personal story the president will likely hear. The White House is still finalizing a lot of plans for Thursday, including who, besides the president, will be speaking and who will introduce the president himself. What we do know is the White House has sought out local citizens to share their personal stories about their health. And one Appleton woman has a remarkable story she is ready to tell the president. And then I'll be speaking. Verna Van Newland is a new woman. Before, I just I didn't want to live because I was too sick. And now... I feel fabulous. The old Verna ran a flower shop, working five to seven weddings every weekend. But 30 years of stress and poor eating finally caught up with her heart. They found out I had cardiomyopathy with only one sixth of my heart working. I took off 21 pounds of fluid from around my heart. Four and a half years ago, two cardiologists gave Verna less than a year to live. And I knew I was dying, so I went and I planned my funeral. Her health and medical bills forced her to close her business. I gave it up when I got so sick because I wasn't able to do it anymore. Um, financially, I lost everything that I worked 30 years for um, because I didn't have health insurance. Then she says she experienced a miracle. She learned about CHIP, the coronary heart improvement program at ThetaCare in Appleton. The program makes serious lifestyle adjustments with healthy eating and exercise. Between July 4th of last year and um, Thanksgiving, I rode almost 1,400 miles on my bike. Doctors say Verna's heart is now fully functional. She shares her story to offer insight into the nation's health care system, inspire others, and offer hope. When people hear my story, I hear all the time, oh my gosh, it's given me hope. And they want to sign up for the CHIP program, and I hear that so often. And you know what? When you're that desperate and that sick, we need hope. She hopes Thursday her message reaches all the way to the president. Sarah Thompson, Action 2 News, Apple.